but I like the old nude. And this was a pound and it's in the shade. I don't think it's got a shade. So as I said, I have got a full bag here full of Primark things, of things that I've brought in Primark. Now, I did one of these videos years ago now, so it was probably... Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Just got in from doing a little bit of shopping in Primark. So I've done a whole Primark haul. Oh, this bag is full of things that I've brought in Primark. Now, I did one of these videos years ago now. So it was probably good two, three years ago. And you all really, really liked it. So I thought... I haven't done a Primark haul in ages. I haven't even been to Primark in ages. I've been watching lots of videos with people testing the Primark makeup. Now, I did one again, like I said, about three years ago. And the makeup, if I'm honest, wasn't all that. I've been watching a few videos and a lot of people have been saying how good their makeup is now. So, I've decided that I'd go in, have a look and see if I could pick up some things that I would enjoy. Just whilst I've got you as well, I have just uploaded a few videos. I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, so I don't know when the videos are going to be up. But there's loads of new videos all over my channel, so once I know and I'm editing, I'll put the videos here. I'll link them all down below. But please head over and have a look at those. If you're enjoying my content, please hit subscribe let me know that you're liking it if you've got any ideas for videos please comment below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up so you know as well and i'll put my facebook and instagram up now as well so please head over to those and give them a follow now i've got all the admin out of the way let's get into the primark haul so as i said i have got a full bag here full of primark things and um, so i'm gonna the bag's even like breaking it's full i'm going to tip them out quickly put them into kind of categories and then i'm going to show you guys what i got from primer i've just put them all into categories so i know what's what because there's quite a lot here to get through so i'm going to go jump straight into it and just go through it so the first set of stuff that i'm going to show you is all kind of miscellaneous beauty things slash a few cleaning things so i'm just going to get into it and then you know exactly what i bought because i've worked we could be here for ages the first kind of like miscellaneous thing that i've bought are these um wild and mint sage room sachets for up to four weeks now i've been looking for these for quite a while i ended up get them out of packaging so you can hear isn't it i've been looking for these kind of room sachets for ages i ended up going on to bow which is a ladies lingerie website and buying the little sachets that they put in the bags for you and they were quite quite pricey i'm sure when i was younger my mum used to go and buy these all the time from anywhere but they just weren't everywhere but anyway you get what I'm saying. They had these in Primark and I thought, oh, perfect. So I picked up the Wild Mint and Sage. I think I tried a perfume that smelt like, not a perfume, I found a candle that smelt just like this. So I'm actually going to open them now because unlike the rest of the stuff, I'll be doing a testing video on them. But I probably won't be doing a testing. It's only one. I thought it was going to be more than one. That was £1.50. So it's one of these bags. It's like full of smelly stuff and you put it into a wardrobe and it helps make it smell nice i mean it does smell nice so i'm going to pop that in joe's one because i've got all the bow ones so this is going to go in joe's one so yeah like i said a bit miscellaneous i then got one of these things which is a refillable pump dispenser i've been looking for one of these for ages and just haven't found one what this is is if you ever get your nails done you see that they have this like little pump that they use it basically you fill this up with whatever product you want whether it's makeup cleaner whether it's makeup cleanser for your face whether it's nail varnish remover which i'll probably use this for my nail varnish remover fill it up and then there's a little pump on the top and you just put the cotton pad in and it kind of does it for you so it saves when i do my nails i'll put it in the lid so i can put the cotton bud in and tidy them up whereas this it just stays in one place so that was 80p so i thought i can't not but but pick that up so i've got that the next thing i didn't realize they do skinny dip in primark now skinny dip i only ever see skinny dip when i'm in the airport or if i'm in a big what you call it like shopping center but they've got skinny dip in primark which is amazing i love all skinny dip stuff i think they do some really kind of quirky unique stuff i'm in the market for a new brush my brush is gonna all like peely and it's just a bit naff at the moment i got it from primark and it was only about 60p and it's lasted me i'd say just over about six months but it's just a bit naff now so i thought i need a new brush went to buy the same one i thought why am i buying the same one because i'll be here again in six months and then i saw a skinny dip stand and I just had to get this skinny dip brush so it's a peach so it was four pounds from the skinny dip range and it's like one of these tangle teaser ones and now four pounds a little bit pricey for me for a brush but it's one of these tangle teasers and i thought the peach was just so nice like i just 
love it. I think it's so cute. So I'm going to pop him there because he just looks cute. Again, in the skinny dip section, I need some more makeup sponges. Now, I currently use the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge thing. I don't know what they actually call it because I know the beauty blender is the beauty blender but anyway i use one of those i've got two of them and i kind of will turn it through those do with some more more sponges because i just go through them so quickly they had these skinny dip sponges get two three pound now if you use the real technique ones as well you'll know that they cost like five pound for one i'm always a little bit dubious to buy if that's the right word to buy anything other than look i've got them in my hand you wouldn't even know anything other than like either beauty blender or the real techniques because i feel like they're really like hard and they don't really absorb so i thought i'd just take a gamble i've just got these out and they're so soft i think they'll be brilliant i'm really looking forward to using them i hope these work because they're going to save me so much money i've got a funny feeling these might be like the velvety ones i don't know but i love the colors as well like a baby pink and a like a pastel um pastel pu oh Pastel purple, I think three pound for two sponges, perfect. Need a tea break because I'm a little bit parched. I'm gonna be completely up. Let's move that because that just doesn't look great, does it? I'm gonna be honest with you, I've just been for lunch with Joe's family and I had two glasses of wine. So next thing I bought was sheet masks. Now I haven't re I don't really do like masks as such. I do a skincare routine, but these seem to be what they call prep and perfect so almost like what you do before you do your makeup which i think would be quite a nice little treat for like a good i don't know for example it's your birthday you're going out for your birthday you're going to do your makeup really nice i think that'll be a really nice little mix to it so we've got two here they were 80p which is i mean they might not do anything and they're actually korean and i've watched a lot of videos with sheet masks from korean and they're really korea and they're really good so they've got the hydrate one which is a priming sheet mask enriched with hyaluronic acid to help revitalize and hydrate skin and it says it's all in a different language and then we've got the glow one which again is the prep and perfect i didn't actually know it was prep and perfect until i got home and read it then so this one's meant to brighten and this one is enriched with extract of pearl witch hazel vitamin e and to help reveal the skin's natural glow so again if you're going for a really nice dewy look that would be a good one to use. The next thing is a solid brush cleaner. This was £2 and it's just literally one of those pots with the solid soap in there, like that. It doesn't smell great, if I'm honest. I didn't smell it before I left, but it just comes in a soap, like a bar of soap, basically. Pretty much everything else is all makeup. If I'm honest, I've been watching a few videos and I was thinking, oh, God, there's so many nice things in there now. They have, like, the double matte, double wear foundation in there, which is pretty much like a double dupe, a double dupe, which is a dupe for the Estee Lauder foundation. They had other one, which was, like, a glow foundation, which was a really nice glowy, like, medium coverage one. Loads and loads and loads. So I was really excited to go. And the one I went to is the one in Portsmouth. And if I'm honest, I don't know if we went at a bad time, but it just seemed like everything was kind of sold out. There was just no none of my shades. Like, we'll get into it as I go through it, but I was a little bit disappointed, I must admit. I think I'm going to start with my bargain buys to start with. So we were queuing up to pay for it all. And you know how they kind of get you with all the bits and bobs that are just kind of down the aisle when they got me. I got this all top kit and it's a lip kit. Now, originally £3.50 and it was a pound. Now, what you get in it is a lip matte, a lip liner and a lip lacquer. Let's take it out because it's in a really nice lip, a lip, a really nice like mauve colour. Now, probably isn't something I would go and buy for £3.50, but for a pound, I couldn't say no. So I got it. Like I said, you get a matte lip, a lip lacquer and a lip liner. Now, I must admit, the lip liners from Primark are pretty good. Before I got my um, spice from MAC, I used to use, I think, let me have a look actually because I've got it. I used to use toffee. Okay, clearly I didn't want that. This one is in the shade, it comes with it. I don't think it's even got a shade. No. So I'm actually really excited to try that because before when I've tried them, they've been really good. And then you get these lip mattes and lip liquor, lip lacquer colours. Again, a really nice nude oh i like that wand it's like a tear dropped one and it's just again a really nice kind of mauvey deep color i like lip lacquers i'm not a fan of mattes i've got a matte lip here as well it seems a lot lighter well it's not as light as it looks in the bottle very matte you could do a really nice ombre look with those two 
oh, I can't get it back in. I need an old whip wipe down to get rid of that. Another bargain that I found in the bargain range is another lip kit, actually. I'm not really into the whole lipstick, but I was just really drawn to all of these. This is matte lip kit. Again, looking back on this, probably shouldn't have bought it, but it was £2. And you get a lip liner and a lipstick. Just saying from the all talk that I've just shown you. I think it's very much, um, I don't know if it's Carly or Huda, but they definitely duped that. So again, this lip liner is in the shade... Brilliant. Doesn't have a shade. Interesting. Very pale. I don't know if you guys can see that. Very pale. And then it comes with a liquid, matte liquid lipstick. And I think it might, yeah, that is very pale. Very, very pale. Mm, probably not my colour. But we'll give it a go because you just never know until you try it. So they were £2. Need that whip wipe again. Let me just see. Yes, I did. I've got another thing in the sale. So the next thing in the sale were, was a pound again. So if these were a pound, it's really bad really because they just kind of get you, don't they? Liquid highlighter. So it's illuminating highlighter, oh, highlighter drops. And this was a pound and it was originally three pounds. So I couldn't, again, couldn't not get it. And this, oh, why did I not take all the packaging off beforehand? Let's see if I can just do it. Where does it even start? Oh my goodness, primer. There we go, got it off. <sighs> Look, from doing all that, I've squeezed it out. So these are highlighting drops. And I've got mine in the shade Desire. Pop them on. Oh, that is nice though. That is super shiny. Now I'd obviously blend that out quite a bit and I've used that quite a bit. Oh, look at that. That whew, goes straight in my basket. And it obviously did. And I think everything else, yeah, everything else was full price. I will be doing a testing primer makeup. So I've tried to get like a full face of makeup to be able to do this video. Again, it wasn't that great. So the first thing I got was a primer. Now this primer is the PS Prep and Perfect Skin Illuminator. So it highlight cream but and illuminating base. Now I could put this on and it could go completely wrong and I would look like a complete nutter glitter. But we're going to give it a go anyway and it was £3.50 but it is a very light tone like I don't think it will be that bad I think it will be really nice I hope it's a nice base because I really like the dewy look hence why I look a little bit shiny now but yeah really like that well like the thought of that hopefully it's nice now the foundation that I wanted to get I can't remember what it was called but it was something glow it was the glow drops and I thought yeah that's a bit of me that is like a bit dewy but they didn't have my colour they had I think my colour is toffee and that's what I bought this one in so the only one that had my shade of colour was the matte foundation I'm not a fan of matte foundation but you never know I might use this in my next video and fall in love with it and it'll be my new kind of go-to foundation but it's just the PS my perfect colour matte foundation natural medium coverage with matte finish oil free now I like the oil free side of it because this girl's really shiny. I'm just not thinking I'm going to like the matteness of it. So again, £3. Quite excited about that. I think it's a good colour match. But we'll see. The other thing I wanted to get was the powder to go on top. Again, I wanted the loose powder because I like loose powders. And I've heard a lot about the loose powders. But no. And instead, I got this. Which is the PS Perfect Colour. Again, same as that. Foundation pressed powder and I got that in the toffee. So if the foundation is wrong and I use this as well I have my really orange face. I'm hoping it goes well. So we'll see. Two pounds. Can't really go wrong. Staying with the face. I got the PS my colour perfect colour liquid concealer now I went down a shade in this because I prefer kind of brightening eyes rather than you know what I mean um so I got this in honey and this was two pounds last two to do with the base of my face I got a contouring product I heard good things about their bronzers I'm hoping this isn't too orangey colour for me but it's the bronze glow matte bronzing powder and I got it in the shade fearless but if I'm honest that's the only shade they had, so I kind of had no choice but to get that colour. And that was £2, but I don't think you can really go wrong with the concealer powder, can you? The next thing, I got this blusher, which again is the PS Blush High Pigment Blusher in Amour. And it was £1.50. I'm trying to get into it, so I can show you. There we go. I'm in. really like the packaging of this. It's very MAC-esque. It's very kind of sleek. And the colour, to be honest, I couldn't really see it in the shop. 
but I quite like it because it's quite, um, again, I'm liking the word mauve eye. That seems like a really nice, swatching it there feels really soft and really easy to apply. So I'm looking forward to using that. Didn't have many eyebrow products. The only eyebrow, eyebrow products they had, and I mean, I might be wrong here, this, this might be what they've always had, was the pencil. So I got the brow sketch in dark brown and this was two pounds. Oh, I've got another little miscellaneous in here. Bought a new nail varnish. I've got a whole drawer here full of nail varnish. But I like the old nude. And this was a pound and it's in the shade. I don't think it's got a shade. Whilst I'm here, I'm going to pop that in there. If you guys want to see um, my makeup collection, this... Ooh. This unit, this unit, and some bits under there has all of my makeup collection. So if you want to see that, let me know. I'd be more than happy to do that. Next, I ended up getting was this Urban Heat. To me, it seemed like a very much a dupe for the Urban Decay Heat, which I actually have. So what I'm going to do is do a full video of testing this, one eye this, and one eye the Heat palette, and see which one kind of, if there's any difference, and let you guys know. This was only £4. Got an eyeliner. I don't really use eyeliner that often. If I do, it's very, very rarely. It's a pound and I got mine in Black Magic. Okay. Then again with lights, I was impressed, I must say, positive coming up, how many mascaras they had. It was a little bit overwhelming. But they had, instead of just like two rows, which I thought they'd have, they had a whole section. So I was having a look and this just jumped out at me. I don't know, you have to let me know in the comments. Is this a dupe for the Better Than Sex Mascara in Too Faced? I couldn't decide. I got it, it was only three pounds. Very similar to the ones that I would buy anyway. So I'm looking forward to using that. Hopefully that's a good saving as well. Last little product is this lip. Not that I need any more lipsticks, but I couldn't not get it. It was 90p. I wanna show you it. I can't get into it. Shock horror. They had loads of mattes, loads of different colors. Like I said, I'm not a massive fan on, on old matte. It's not really for me. It's like a really nice nude pink colour. I'm going to show you anyway. That was really creamy. I quite like that. It's just like an everyday, easy lipstick. And I really like the packaging. It's really sleek, square. It's just very nice. Very much like it. That's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed my Primark haul. I'm going to go back, but I might go back to the Southampton branch because I feel like they have a lot more to kind of offer. And yeah, hopefully I'll do another little haul for you. But again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you're enjoying my content. If you've got any ideas for me to do some more videos, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to head over to my Facebook and Instagram pages. Give them a follow. I upload every Wednesday at 5 o'clock, every Saturday at 10 o'clock, and I'll be tucking in a bonus video on Sunday at 9 o'clock. So stay tuned for that, and I shall see you soon. Bye!